Hello guys, this is Rupan Raj. In my previous videos of this series, I have explained about the master-slave architecture of MongoDB. And uh, I also created a MongoDB cluster in Docker, but that was using commands. I, uh, actually, I was uh, executing uh, commands to create MongoDB uh, Docker containers. But if you are going to construct a huge cluster, let's say 20 nodes in your cluster or 30 nodes in your cluster, it's very difficult to execute uh, commands for all 20 nodes or 30 nodes. So we don't need to do that. Instead, we can write a single file called docker compose file and we can write our own configuration and we can just simply execute that one file. It will spin up the number of uh, docker containers which we want. I'll show you everything from the scratch, how to create the docker compose file and how to write all uh, all the things are required so for that uh, i'll create a folder first make directory mongo mm, let's say mongo cluster cluster and uh, cd mongo cluster and uh, i'm going to create a docker compose file docker compose dot yml and uh, before that i i want to let you know guys that if you want to run docker compose file you have to install docker compose in your machine so just make sure that you have installed uh, docker compose in your machine before you execute this uh, file so now I, now i'm going to create docker compose file i have created it you can see here the docker compose.yml file is created and uh, i'm going to open this file in uh, atom editor So you can see here we have created the mongo cluster folder and uh, that is an empty file. And uh, we are going to start with the version and this version represents the uh, version number of uh, the docker compose file. And uh, the second thing is uh, we need to write our services. Services are nothing but the containers. We are going to configure our containers here under the services and uh, the first container name would be node 1 and we need to provide the image actually i'm going to use the very base very basic image and the base image of uh, mongo which is provided by docker hub and this is an official image and i'm going to uh, tag the ports not tag actually i'm going to map the port of uh, mongodb from the container to the outside world and uh, for that i'm going to use the port number 30001 and uh, the internal port number would be 27071 so this is going to be the port number inside docker container and i'm going to expose this port number to the world i mean publicly using uh, this port number i mean in this port number 30001 and this is done i think the space yes and i'm going to map a uh, volume to store the database from the container to the host machine and for that i'm going to have this home and uh, mongo cluster data and uh, the node 1 and the internal uh, path for the database is slash data and slash db actually what we are doing is we are uh, mapping the database path from the container to our local machine even if there is no folder called mongo cluster data and the node one in your machine when you execute this uh, docker compose file it will create the uh, it will create the directory for you and i'm going to create a network and i'm going to name the network as mongo cluster And 
we need to execute the command once the container is boot up we need to execute this command called uh, mongod and we need to provide the replication set and we need to provide the uh, same name for the replication set for the other containers also so that the replication set will be synchronized with the uh, all the containers and uh, it will make the replication process and it's mandatory for the replication and i'm going to keep this name as commands because in my previous tutorial i have used this replication set so i'm just using the same name and uh, this is all you need to create a basic container basic mongodb container and uh, i'm going to just copy paste uh, the same configuration for three times to make a uh, three uh, three command sorry three uh, containers basically so i'm going to just duplicate this code and i'm going to change the name of container to node 2 and the port number would be 30002 and here the node num node name will be node 3 and uh, the port number would be 30003 and here i need to change the directory name to node 2 and here node 3 and uh, the other things are same and we need to add one more uh, parameter here and the parameter name is called uh, depends on i'll explain what this depends on will do actually we need to execute the containers sequentially so first the node 1 will get created node 1 container and here we are specifying depends on node 1 so this node 2 container will get created after this node 1 and the same thing we need to do here and i'll just copy paste this so here we need to specify this node 3 container depends on node 2 so after this node 2 get created this node 3 container will start to run so we are done with our container configuration and uh, here we are specifying the network so it means uh, we want all three all these uh, three containers should uh, should be connected with the same network called mongo cluster and we need to define the configuration for that also and the configuration would be networks and uh, and the name of the network is mongo cluster and the driver will be a bridge driver so far what we have done is we have uh, written a docker compose file to boot up three containers and uh, each container for each individual mongodb instance and uh, we have connected all these uh, three containers with the same network so we are going to run this uh, docker compose a file using the docker compose up command and i'll show it in my terminal so here we have this file docker compose dot yml and uh, we need to use this command docker compose up so what it will do is it will execute this docker compose file and uh, here it says it's created all three uh, containers docker containers uh, which is our uh, running mongodb instance and to check that we can uh, execute this command docker ps which shows uh, the list of uh, running docker containers and here you can see uh, mongo cluster node 1 is running mongo cluster node 2 is also running and mongo cluster node 3 is also running so it means we successfully ran our uh, three docker container and uh, using using docker compose in my previous tutorial i have uh, i have done the same process with uh, three different commands but here we have written everything in a single file and we just executed this single file and everything i mean in the background it created docker compose created all three uh, nodes mongodb nodes and it's connected all the three nodes in a single network 
so it will be more convenient if you have a uh, more number of uh, uh, nodes in your cluster and uh, now i'll show you a demo like uh, i mean how replication works in this uh, cluster for that i'll open one node and i'll create a new data and i'll go to the other two nodes and i'll check whether that that newly created data is replicated in the other two nodes for that we need to do some configuration uh, before that and uh, i'll do it here clear this panel and i want to get access to any one of uh, the running container docker ps and here three containers are running and uh, docker execute it actually what i am trying to do is i am get i am trying to get access to any one of uh, the running container using the docker exec command and you can also follow the same uh, procedure to get access to any one of the container and uh, mongo cluster i'll get access to mongo cluster node 1 so you can get the name from here mongo cluster node 1 and oh, sorry i forgot to give the command name mongo So here you can see I got access to the Mongo shell and uh, here I need to uh, provide some configuration and uh, actually I have written the configuration in the text file because it's a kind of big configuration. I will give this configuration uh, in this video tutorial. You can just copy paste the same thing. So I am also going to just copy paste the configuration. So here. Sorry. So here, actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm first I'm trying to get connected to the database. The database name is test. So it says yes, you got access to the database test, and in that database, I need to give this configuration. So here, I have uh, written the config. So uh, the configurations are nothing but uh, I want to say that there are three running uh, nodes in this cluster and uh, if you, I mean you have to keep this configuration to make the replication. So I'm just going to copy these commands and I'm going to paste it here. So here you can see our replication set is uh, commands and uh, I'm going to give a unique ID for each node so this is our node 1 node 2 node 3 this is what we have named for our node and uh, the id should be unique and uh, the replication set is commands so i'm going to execute this and uh, it got saved actually it got saved only in this config variable so we need to execute this using this command rs rs is nothing but uh, replica set initiate this configuration so it said uh, the configuration is successful it's initiated and you can see some uh, logs are going on in the terminal here and it says the replication and the synchronization is happening in the background uh, between all three containers so i'll just exit from this com console and i'll try to uh, get access to all three containers so i'll just copy the command so i'll just paste it here here actually these three uh, terminals are running uh, individually so there is no connection between these three here i'm trying to get access to node one and here i'm trying to get access to node two and in the third terminal i'll get access to node three here i'm executing this command executing here here i'll just clear the screen so that it will be more readable so here you can see here it says node 1 and node 1 is acting as primary node and uh, here it's node 2 is secondary node and uh, node 3 is second uh, node 3 is also secondary node so if if you i mean if you don't know how the architecture works in mongodb you can just go to my previous video i'll put the uh, link in my description 
uh, there I have explained how primary works and uh, how the secondary node works in MongoDB. So here uh, what I will do is I will just get access to the same database. So here I am get, I got the access to the database called test. I am also doing the same thing in other two nodes here and the third node. So here uh, in all three nodes I got access to the database named uh, test and uh, what I am going to do here is in the primary node I am going to write one new data db dot collection my collection I am going to name my collection as my collection and uh, I am going to insert a new record and it's going to be let's say I'm going to give some comment and the, the key name is comment and the value would be hi how are you actually I'm going to uh, create this uh, new record in the my collection actually it says a uh, right result and it says I have inserted the new data and to check that I'll use db dot my collection dot find so what this command will do is it will show all the uh, records in the my collection so here it shows the newly created record actually I have created this new record in the primary node and uh, the node name is node 1 and I have created this on uh, node 3 and node 1 sorry node 2 but all these three nodes are connected together uh, in the same network and uh, we have configured the replication process in the background so once I have created this the same data will be replicated on the other two nodes and I will show it here before that uh, we need to uh, set uh, some flag here so that you can uh, read the data set slave okay so this is because this is these two secondary nodes are slave nodes so to read some data from uh, from the database you have to uh, set this uh, slave flag as true so this set slave okay will turn the flag into true so we need to do this uh, on the node 3 also and uh, yes I have done here and uh, I'm going to read the data from my collection dot find I'll just copy this command so you can see here the the data which we have created in node 1 it's replicated in the node 2 also and uh, I'll check it on the node 3 and here even here it uh, replicated the same data but you cannot write any new data on secondary nodes because uh, this is master slave architecture mongodb doesn't allow users to write uh, data on uh, secondary nodes so users are allowed to write only new data on uh, primary node so you can just see those configurations in my previous video and here i have shown the replication works between these three different nodes and uh, that's all for this video guys and I'll put this uh, uh, docker file on github and I'll give the link on my description and you can just go and copy paste uh, I mean copy the docker compose file you can just run the docker compose up command it will boot up all three containers and uh, just follow few steps to configure the replication and uh, you can just create a simple uh, mongodb cluster in your local machine yeah uh, and uh, if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, you can uh, do subscribe to my channel and I'll post more videos about cluster setup and distributed database systems and uh, thank you guys thank you for watching this video bye bye